are an astute people person, right? I think anyone who who has had the pleasure of just coming in contact with you has always felt, you know, recognized, seen by you. And one thing I wanted to talk about is people and how you deal with people, right? Because we we talk all the time, right? People are the ultimate variable, right? People are X in the equation always, right? You can have, if it's a party, you could have the perfect venue, you could have the perfect DJ, you know, you could have, everything could be set up for success, right? And the people could come and just mash it up. <laughs> it, it's happened. And it, it's happened, <laughs> right? So, so people are the variable, right? And then, so you're, you, you built this, you built this company on an idea and, you know, a, a plan with, with, with Jay and to, to accelerate that plan and to make it succeed, you had to bring people in. Mm-hmm. So how would you say, one, how did you develop? Because you, you talked about your principal who made people feel like they were, like it was inclusive. They made people feel like we were all after the same mission. How did you acquire your people skills in then working with a group of college kids like a class entertainment, how did that help you to evolve your people skills? And also with suit and government as well, right? Because you're saying yeah. you're, you're playing both sides. It's like suit, sweat, you know, sweat, suit. So like you, yeah. you, you have this world that you're dealing with it. You have, you know, the political world basically as like student government lead mm-hmm. that you're dealing with it as well. So like how does that all work for you? Man. Removal of ego. <laughs> that, Rule number one. That is that 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 looks that lets you see things in a a, a little bit clearer light mm-hmm. um, when you can sort of get out of your own way and uh, you know, not take things too personally. Yep. And, you know, I've said it before. I'm somewhere between giving grace and saying, "Nah, fuck that." Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that duality, I, I sort of, I'm sort of like a bowling ball with, with uh, bumpers. <laughs> yeah, you can bounce, you can bounce back and forth depending on how you feel. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I think it's, I, I, I think the interesting part of marketing is, you know, marketing is, thank you, marketing is essentially about meeting people, right? Uh, you either meet them where they are, you present them with something, and here's where you are. This is something that will help solve uh, a problem uh, that you have or, or um, you know, help fix something. Uh, it's meeting people where they are, and then it's also meeting people where they want to be, which becomes aspirational. Mm-hmm. So I, I like to think in a few different cases, like when we're fighting for uh, a medical center on North Campus, mm-hmm. uh, when, I was, when I was president, that was important. Kids need this... Um, necessity to be taken care of if something goes wrong. They don't have to go all the way down to South Campus if mm-hmm. they're not feeling well. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's meeting them where they are. Yep. Now, for class entertainment, it was, you know, meeting them where they want to be. You want to release after a long week. Mm-hmm. And a big part of that meeting, meeting people where they want to be, was making sure that we had the tools to move forward and and create that. Yep. So the team was a massive part of that. Shouts to Damar as well. Yep. Damar and Jay Partners Another Class legend. Entertainment. Um, we had a team. Our team was very diverse. Yep. Uh, our team was Asian. Our team was Dominican. Our team was Puerto Rican. Like our team was black. Yep. It was male. It was female. We had to mirror the marketplace. Yep. Our team was white. Yep. You know what I mean? It wasn't like our parties weren't meant to be, um, it was more psychographic than demographic. Mm-hmm. Because when you when like I, I look at the pictures, I'm like really humble that people showed up to our parties time and time and time again. But it's because we we presented them class, and then when they showed up, the shit was lit. Mm-hmm. And um, there was one there was one time we we had brought Mr. C up in 2006. Six. Buster Rhymes after party. No, this, this is actually the be- the first part of the year. Okay. The first okay. part of the year. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, yeah. I just went right there. No, no, that was, that's, a, that's, that was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I went right there. Cause that, was, we got? that was, yo, we got, <laughs> that was after our spring, but go that, ahead. That I was, ooh, no, 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 oh no, you don't know, no, but that, <sighs> that, that was educational. That and was that, an educational that was night. was at the height of Touch It. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I was at Buster Rhymes. I, what, what was, what was, what was crazy about the, the time we brought Mr. C up was, 
we did ladies night mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. thought we were crazy like because we were doing ladies free and we we're just like yo this is the give back it was yep. the first party of the of the, the, the January school year second half yep. of the year but someone else was also throwing a party um and uh, there's no beef it's fine it's uh, I don't even I hope they're still around Gorilla Entertainment yeah, shall see you shall we're, s- we're past the statute of limitations okay on good, good, good. We, 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 everything's fantastic <laughs> we were fine fantastic shout out to Courtney shout out to Courtney <laughs> yeah energy 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 <laughs> Gorilla Entertainment right like I remember we had Mr. C we're ready to go we, you know first part of the year they were like alright we're gonna bring Fat Man Scoop and we're gonna do the Pleasure Dome mm-hmm. Pleasure Dome hadn't been cracked in a little while mm-hmm. so I remember they took out a full page ad in the UB Spectrum with their party flyer and it said there is no class tonight. <laughs> and <laughs> ballsy. And that was ballsy. Ball. I mean, that was fire. That was actually fire. I'm not gonna hold yeah. you. It's like and I remember I, I got the paper, so I gotta find it. Mm-hmm. But um I remember reading that and like you get this there's this scene in Game of Thrones mm-hmm. uh where um uh, this guy, Reek, his name wasn't Reek, but he asked Rob Stark, he's about to go to war to avenge his father. Mm-hmm. He's like, his hands are shaking. He's like, are you scared, Rob? He's like, no. Um, he's like, good. And Rob is like, why is that good? It means you're not stupid. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a little bit of like, okay, we got some competition. Yep. Stick to the plan. Yep. When you're in your own lane, there's no traffic. Yep. Do what you were always going to do. Don't try to do too much. Trust in what you've done, yep. where you are, and where you're trying to go. And um, we didn't have any problems that night. Yeah. Um, and but it, it was a reminder that just because you're at this spot doesn't mean you'll stay at that spot. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. what you have can go away. So Absolutely. everything you say it, Jay said it. Treat everything like your first project, yep. right? So yep. we went into it with that energy every time, and every time felt like a new party. Yep. Even if it felt stale in the venue, mm-hmm. we found new ways to up the ante, right. and that's. What you got to do with marketing. Right. Better to be your own challenger than be challenged. Absolutely. So look at your plan and how it can be tested. Do your SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, mm-hmm. threat, move forward and, and, and build from there. But I, that class entertainment time was just so, so foundational. College as a whole was just very foundational for for us as a group. I mean, yeah. so many people went on. Some people on the team went on to to join um, the Greek organization. Some yep. people went on to just do amazing things. Shouts yep. to Shireen, yep. uh, like on the team as yep. well. Francis. But it, and Francis. Yeah. So, shouts to Francis. Yeah. Bronx, what up? And, yeah. it, you know, everybody on the team, it wasn't like Jen, mm-hmm. Jen Veris. Like, it, yep. it, 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 it wasn't like... You're that, uh, you're this. Everybody was like a part of something really Mm -hmm. special. It felt special. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had T-shirts, hats, flight jackets. We handed out flyers. Promotional um, social media was creating a Facebook event group and inviting people. And, you know, 500 people said yes, 400 people said maybe. Yep. Like, yeah, maybe coming or you really coming. Yep. But, you know. And then you got a question if the yeses are just saying yes so you don't start messaging them and tagging up their wall. That... That era... Tagging up walls? Yeah, tagging up... I I was a wall terrorist, (laughs) right? Like...